Hey everyone, Mr. Obvious here, and it looks like the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, has ended the mandatory mask mandate. Time to open up Texas 100%. So glorious Texas, the best country in America, are currently going to be ending a lot of executive orders enforcing a lockdown, enforcing masks, and is finally opening up their economy. And as you can imagine, there are many leftists out there who are losing their minds and having an absolute meltdown. Now, although this is really good news for Texas, a lot of people are extremely upset, mostly because they're trying to say stuff like, Oh my God, Texas is not going to wear masks? You're trying to kill grandma. And it's just the most disingenuous argument ever. The economies have been locked down all over America for, what, like a year now? And none of it actually stopped coronavirus from taking over the United States. At the end of the day, if people don't get back to work, the economy will collapse. In fact, it's probably already inevitable. The stock market will surely collapse. I expect the housing market to collapse. This bubble simply cannot go on forever. And that's why someone like me is invested in better investments like well, what I would consider a better investment at this point, cryptocurrency. Maybe I'll make a video about that, but for now, this news has just been released, and as you can imagine, many leftists online are freaking out. I'm issuing a new executive order that rescinds most of the earlier executive orders. Effective next Wednesday, all businesses of any type are allowed to open 100%. So if we go over here with Gavin Newsom and his Twitter account, the governor of California, he says, absolutely reckless, in response to the Associated Press, announcing that Texas is removing its mask mandate, making it the biggest state to end the order intended to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. But I want to read the replies here because that is what is the most hilarious and the most ridiculous. This tweet has over 30,000 likes, 4,000 retweets, and 3,700 quote tweets. Riot Squirrel says, can we ban travel from Texas to California? Please do. <laughs> this is the funniest thing in the world to me. Texans based old Texas would love nothing more than for Californians to be banned from coming to Texas because for years now, we've seen liberals fleeing their dying blue states. They've been running away from states like California because the taxes are high, the economy is garbage, because of the policies they voted for. Democrats have run California into the ground. Democrats have raised all the taxes. It is a dystopia. And yet, the same left-wing brainlets want to move to states like Texas that are based in red-pilled red states run by Republicans and vote for the same policies. Democrats vote Democrat in, in Texas and they ruin the state. Imagine being so dumb that you think that you can move to a, a conservative state, vote for liberal policies, and then when the state collapses because it's now communist and being taxed to death, you're going to wonder, how did this happen? I voted for the same people who ruined my last state. It reminds me of like a parasite or a cancer moving on from an old host to a new one. I think that Texas should ban California from traveling there. They should erect a wall. They should say no Californians in Texas. How about that? Now, it's really funny that Gavin Newsom is saying this because he was caught on camera, as you can see in this picture, spending like $15,000 on a fancy dinner with his rich friends, and none of them were wearing masks. Truly, these rich people don't follow the same rules. So you want to talk about reckless? This is reckless. So Gavin Newsom has no room to speak when he's a rich elite who doesn't even follow the rules. But what's so funny here are all the Californians saying that like a, a travel ban from Texas to California would be a bad thing. No, they would love it. Rini says, time to invoke a travel ban on Texas in California test quarantine. The whole nine yards. Austin Hibbert says, no one is going from Texas to California. In fact, it's the opposite. Because California sucks. A Twitter user named PJ says, As a Californian, living in Texas 
Moving was the worst decision I've ever made. I want so desperately to come home. Not saying California is perfect, but at least the elected officials aren't actively trying to kill the population. No, only destroy the economy. This is what blows my mind about these entitled, foolish leftists. You ran away from California because California sucked. Because it was run by Democrats. And then you move to Texas and you vote for more Democrats. How stupid can you be? I'm so sick and tired of these people. Look. Texas is very near and dear to me, and I can tell you for a fact, I don't want to live among these liberals and these lefties who are going to keep voting for Democrats who are going to destroy the state. Because Democrats, everything they run is ran into the ground. Did you know in California they have a poop patrol? Because so many people are pooping in the streets? Yeah. Now, I really like what Texas is saying because I think this is the kind of talk that we desperately need right now. Here it says, Too many Texans have been sidelined from the employment opportunities, Abbott said. Too many small business owners have struggled to pay their bills. This must end. It is now time to open Texas 100%. I agree. I think it was time to reopen the economy many, many months ago. Because, look, it's just simple. You cannot stop a virus. You just can't. It's not possible. We still vaccinate for polio and for, for all our sorts of diseases because it's impossible. Chicken pox. You can't get rid of these things. And you can't have a country where nobody is working. It will devastate generations of people. So he's, he filed his executive order to rescind all former executive orders. Now business is opened. And you know what? Texas will probably flourish. The mask mandate, I don't really know, but it's done. Like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if it's a bad idea. What I do know is that how long can this possibly go on? Because they said we would flatten the curve in like 15 days. It's been a year. I'm starting to think they want this to go on for a lifetime. Now, I want to show you the following tweet on Twitter because I believe this really sums up why people are angry about the way that coronavirus has been handled. Woosh says, You know what's absolutely reckless? Letting politically favored industries work like movie companies for shutting down ma and pa shops by shutting them down for being non-essential. <laughs> Imagine calling another being's livelihood non-essential. I really hate the word non-essential because it is completely ridiculous. Everybody is essential to a functioning economy. If somebody can fill a job, they're filling a need. If somebody is filling a need, they are essential to that person. Every part of an economy is important. Though I suppose there are some exceptions. If you ask me, women who go on Twitch to make easy money from simps, that's not essential. That's not necessary. And honestly, I find it abhorrent. But uh, here we are. But that, my friends, is pretty much the story. And... Just the utter cluelessness of these left-wingers, I swear. Sanchez says, We kicked the flu with masking. Why masks are so hard for people? Apollo Crypto replies, Ah, so we killed the flu season because we're so good at wearing masks. But COVID is raging because we're so bad at wearing masks, right? Is this a standard logic these days? God help us. Pretty much. Um, it, it should be noted that the flu has completely disappeared from statistics. And it makes you wonder, well, how much of the cases that they're calling X are actually Y or vice versa? The flu doesn't disappear. The flu is seasonal. It's, it's always around. The fact that it's disappearing from statistics means that it is missing. You can use your own conclusion based on that information. Personally, I think that it's being caught up in some of the COVID diagnoses. And that's why we see those differences. I do not believe it's because people are wearing masks. Maybe it is, just my opinion. But that's about it, folks. But I think it goes without saying that the economic devastation that we are going to experience as a result to the inflation due to the endless printing of money by the government for their stimulus packages, as well as the massive loss of jobs, employment, and livelihoods, is going to have incredibly disastrous effects that will probably be worse than the corona itself. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious.